will judge you. So God says, therefore, I'm going to judge you because you want to do your own thing. You don't want to listen to me. I'm going to judge you. Read. O house of Israel. O house of Israel. Or daughter of Israel. Read on. Everyone according to his ways. So everyone according to his ways. So God says, I'm going to judge you according to your ways. But he don't want to do that. He's giving you an opportunity. He's going to tell you. Read on. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. You see that? Read it again. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. Read it again. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So this is God talking to you, sis. He says, repent. Read it again. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. And what else? So iniquity shall not be in your ruin. So this is what iniquity did to us, sis. Because without us getting our mind right, without us keeping these laws, God is never going to bless us. He's never going to give us those things that's going to allow us to be a prosperous nation. You understand that? Verse 4. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of God, of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that carry away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem. So we were carried away from Jerusalem, remember that? So we was in Jerusalem, we got carried away. We, now we went into the what? In, uh, deep into Africa. And then from Africa, we went to the four corners of the earth. Right? right? So now God has given us some more instructions. Read it again from the top. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 4. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, of whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses. So what do you need to build houses, sis? Money. You need money. Period. You need what? Businesses, right? You need to have, you need to be an entrepreneur. You need to be a businessman, businesswoman. Or have a good job right. in order to pay houses, to build, build ye houses, right? Exactly. So God is telling us in our captivity, while we're here in Babylon, Babylon the Great, which is America, he says, look, build ye houses. So we do have to get our minds right. What? To have businesses. But... You, like, like I illustrated earlier, you're not going to want to send your child to a daycare center where there's pedophiles in there, right? Uh, no. You're not going to want to put your in a black-owned bank and I'm known to steal money. Uh -uh, yeah. So we have to learn how to keep God's laws exactly. in order to what? Build ye houses. You see what I'm saying? So all this works together. That's why we out here. We got to get on people's mind right because a lot of people think, hey, look, we just need to focus on their money. But look, you got a lot of rappers that's talking about getting money. But, but guess what comes with it? Death, murder, jail. Because all they talk about is drill, drill, kill, kill, spinning the block right. with, a, with a switch on the Glock. That's it. That's all they're talking about. So it's something you have to have before what? The money. We're going to come back here. Give me First Timothy 6. So there's something else that comes with it. See? See what I'm saying? Domestic violence. You see what I'm saying? Because we're not, we don't know how to treat each other. That's why keeping these laws is important. You know what I'm saying? We treat each other like trash because we was taught that in slavery. Our enemies had an evil tumult. And then what? They was like, you know what? Let us destroy this nation. Let's, let's teach them to what? Have the women against the men divide. Divide the old against the younger. The light skin against the dark skin. So today, we don't even realize that, hey, man, we, we are beautiful people. God's chosen people. We think we just niggas. GDs, BDs, old block. You know what I'm saying? I'm from I'm from Terrantown. I'm from I'm from Essence Block. We don't even regard ourselves as as a nation. We regard ourselves to street signs. Right. That's how low we become. Where I told you to get. Read that. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter six, verse ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil. You see that says the love of money. Is the root of all evil. It didn't say having money is the root of all evil. It says the love of it. Because people will do anything for a dollar. You know, they got something called these days called backdoor. Meaning, I'm going to set my friend up and get him killed so I can get his money. Right. So wait a minute. Which chapter? Which, uh, Call it and read it. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 10. Okay. 
For the love of money is the root of all evil. So the love of money is the root of all evil. But God says, right, first we have to get our minds right. Then we have to what, acknowledge that we're in Israel. Then we go out here and start building our communities again. You know what I'm saying? We can't, we can't, we, we can't, uh, we can't skip this, any steps. That's because right. if we skip any steps, we're going to find ourselves repeating this process right here. You see what I'm saying? So it's important for us what? To keep God's laws. Give me Acts 3. This is the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. So the Bible says to repent and be converted. So how do we get converted? How do we get changed? You see what I'm saying? How do we get converted? How do we get changed? How is that? Right? What what changes us? Uh, our actions. All right, let's get that. Okay. Come on. What changes us? Conversion. So, re read that again, bro. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So we have to we have to repent. And change so our sins could be blotted out. Right. What is sin? Uh, transgression of the law. Right, breaking of God's laws. Right, mm -hmm. just like what the prophet brought out to you earlier. Yeah. So when we stop breaking God's laws and we are repenting, that means we are converting. But what converts us? Uh, repent. Okay, I'm gonna show you what converts us. We're gonna get it out the Bible. All right, read that. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the law of the Lord, that is what's perfect. And guess what else it do? Converting the soul. It converts your spirit. It converts your mindset. So the more you practice doing God's laws, the more perfect you get. The more you now become blessed. You see what I'm saying? Because we brought out a law to you right earlier, right? About dress code, right? Yeah, y'all brought in a few laws. You see what I'm saying? So you have to start keeping these laws. Give me uh, Ezekiel 18 and 30. I'm going I'm to leave you with this, sis, because you, look, you're a princess of the Most High. What, what royalty do you see walking around in dresses? What princess have you ever seen in a dress? All princesses and queens wear dresses, right? They don't wear pants. I, I feel you. That's why that, that's why is you wear leggings up under. Leggings are long underwear. That's what they are. I, I wear leggings. I have leggings. Like so do you want to do what God says or what you say? No, I do what the Lord says. Let, I, I do, I check do. this out. Let me tell you what God says. I'm gonna read it out the Bible. Read Ezekiel 18 and 30. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you. So God says, therefore, I'm going to judge you because you want to do your own thing. You don't want to listen to me. I'm going to judge you. Read. O house of Israel. O house of Israel, or daughter of Israel. Read on. Everyone according to his ways. So everyone according to his ways. So God says, I'm going to judge you according to your ways. But he don't want to do that. He's giving you an opportunity. He's going to tell you. Read on. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. You see that? Read it again. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. Read it again. Repent. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So this is God talking to you, sis. He says, repent. Do read it again. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. And what else? So iniquity shall not be in your ruin. So this is what iniquity did to us, sis. You see what I'm saying? Those young men that's running around carjacking women, men, and children. That's God's judgment. Right. God puts a spirit on them to bring forth judgment when we are disobedient. You see what I'm saying? So it's easy to put on a dress, sis. We got sisters in our congregation today, right now, that got on a dress and got long panties up under it, keeping themselves warm. They got long socks to come up to help too. So there's ways to make it happen. But it's just that our minds got to be converted. So as more as you, what, practice keeping the law, the more easier it gets. That's, right. That's the importance of what? Being around brothers and sisters that are like-minded. Give me that in Zephaniah. Because, look, when you're around people that's doing the same thing, sis, that's what emboldens you. That's what empowers you. Because, what, it's just like watching a TV show. If you watch a TV show, you're going to become whatever that TV show is. But if you're around righteous people, you become righteous. 
you become what you do all the time. You become what you see, you become what you read, all of those things. So it's about being in practice. Read that. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princess and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So God said he's going to punish those who are clothed with strange apparel. A woman wearing pants, that's strange before God. A man wearing a dress, that's strange before God. Right. Give me Acts 3. Read verse 19 and 20. So we got to repent. We, we got to repent. Sis, we have to repent, right? Now listen to this. Verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. And when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The times of refreshing is when destruction comes. So when Christ comes, you got to make sure that you're wearing a dress, sis. Yep. You got to make sure that you repent it. Because when he come back, it's going to be death and destruction. Right. Because this guy right here, he's what taught you what is okay for you to wear pants. Bring it out. But this guy right here, when he come back, it's going to be death and destruction. That's because right. you're getting your warning today. Teach. You're getting your warning today. So you have to hearken and not get caught on the wrong side of the fence. Right. Because the nuclear weapons is coming. That's right. You got what? Putin talking about, hey, look, I'm going to blow America up. Why did America just buy $290 million worth of radiation pills? Why did they do that? Because they know that destruction is coming to America. But we don't understand that. We don't, we, we, we living in oblivion. We think everything is fine because we driving nice cars. We, we stay in, um, in, in, uh, over here in Bronxville. We got a nice little brownstone, graystone. We think everything good. But destruction is coming. Destruction is coming. Let's get that in Peter. Let's read about the destruction that's coming in Peter. Because the thing is, sis, God, given, he's given us a chance. We're in his grace period right now. We're in his grace period. And we have a lot stacked up against us because the Christian church is not doing their job and what, warning our people. That's why we are here on the street corners. We are here on the street corners to warn our people of the destruction that's coming. Read that. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So the Lord is not slack in concerning his promise. He said he's coming back. Read on. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us work, not willing that any should perish. He's not willing that any should perish because he's given us an opportunity. Your opportunity is right now to repent, to hear these laws, to repent. You're an Israelite sister. Now you got to start wearing a dress.